Fighting back reporter Steve Levine first exposed these hotspots for crime earlier this week as part of his series on hotspots. And tonight he is live in the short north where neighbors are taking back their streets by wearing that hot pink. Steve? Bob, definitely pink is the word in the short north tonight. Check it out. You can see folks behind me. They are wearing pink. There's even pink flowers here. And as we said, it is all in support of three men who were brutally attacked, part of the gay community. Now thousands are fighting back with just a shade of pink. Hi, guys. Larissa Roman and her co-workers at Screened T-Shirts are passing out these free pink tees in the short north. Can we interest you in a free shirt to support equality today? To fight back against gay violence after three members of the LGBT community are separately assaulted within days of each other. It's just not right that it's happening. So we're supporting them and showing them that not everyone's bad. My back is really sore where they threw me down. The Think Pink campaign started after Chris Cradville posted this bloody photo of himself just hours after he was assaulted by two thugs over the weekend near Indianola Avenue. By spreading that awareness, we could hopefully put a stop to it. Chris believes he was a victim of a hate crime because he says minutes before the attack, the two suspects watched him kiss his ex-boyfriend goodnight. Even though we live in a very diverse city of Columbus, we live in a bubble, and there are still people out there that are trying to hurt us. Days after the community learned about Chris and two other gay men being assaulted, people began wearing pink to show their support for the victims and posting the photos online and on this specially created webpage. WearPinkFriday.com. Some folks are fighting back not just wearing pink, but by eating pink. Here at Surly Girl, they've got pink tacos, pink spritzers, and pink cupcakes, with some of the proceeds going to Bravo, the statewide group that fights gay violence. This is one day, but from here, we're going to move forward until we can get control of hate violence. Um, and really, we're not going to tolerate it.